Hello guys, you're welcome again to another After Effects tutorial and today I want to show you how you can create a particle logo reveal animation using the particular plugin from Red Giant like this one. So support me on this one, like the video, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification and then come back, let's get started. So now in Adobe After Effects, I'm going to create a new composition and then name this logo holder. I'm going to leave the resolution to 1920 by 1080, you can feel free to set your own resolution. Then the frame rate, I'm going to leave that to 25 frames per second. Then the entire duration, I will leave that to 15 seconds for the duration. Then hit OK. So it is time to import our logo. Navigate to where you have your logo. Drag and drop the logo into your composition. I'm going to hit OK for the composition settings. Then I'm going to expand this new folder that is created then and drag the logo into the logo holder composition. And this is what we're going to have. By the way, I got this logo from freepick.com. It's an amazing website. They have stock graphics there that can support your design. Feel free to check them out. Now I'm going to control N on my keyboard to create a new composition. I'm going to call this main. I'm also going to leave the same setting as I have before and then hit OK. So I'm going to drop this uh, logo holder composition into the timeline and I'm going to drop my background into the timeline. Feel free to create a solid layer to create your own background. I made this in Adobe Illustrator. Right click on your timeline, go to new and create a new solid layer. I'm going to name these particles, fit to come and then hit OK. So I'm going to add particular effect from Red Giant. Feel free, go to Google, Google this, how you can get this. They have free trial on their website. If you Google intensively, you can also find this for free. Before we proceed, we're going to select our logo layer and rename it to emitter. We're going to hide the logo and then make this a 3D layer. If you don't have this option of making your layer a 3D, you can toggle it right below your timeline right here. So now select the particle layer. We're going to make some changes to this. We're going to expand the emitter option right here. We're going to change the emitter type to layer. We're going to make the particle per seconds to 105,000, 105, 000. We're going to set all these values to zero. We're going to expand the layer emitter option and then we're going to choose the logo layer that we rename emitter. Let's go to the particle master tab. We're going to set the sphere feather to 5. Make size 3. Opacity random, make it 45. Then the opacity overlay, we're going to expand this and choose from the preset. Select this preset. Set size randomness to 45 and set size over live we're going to also choose a preset select the same preset as in opacity we're going to set the blend mode to screen let's collapse this option and open the physics if you are using the latest version of the particular that will be environment in your own case so if not follow with me then you expand the air option we're going to set the wind y to negative 250 Expand the turbulence field, effect size make it 5, and effect position make it 100. Now move your time indicator to 6 seconds forward in time. We're going to set a keyframe for some of these values right here. Set a keyframe for the wind Y. We're going to set a keyframe for the size. And also we're going to set a keyframe for the particle per seconds. Move your time indicator to 8 seconds forward in time and change the particle per seconds to 0. 
Then move your time indicator back to 4 seconds. At 4 seconds, change the size to 6. Change wind Y to 0. Move your time indicator to 5 seconds forward in time. And set a keyframe for effect size and effect position. Move your time indicator to 3 seconds. And set these two values to 0. If you preview now, this is what we have. Beautiful. So now we're going to switch this panel to effects from effects and control to project manager window. Drag the logo holder composition again below the particle layer. At one second, five frames, hit, P, uh, hit T on your keyboard to reveal the opacity and set a keyframe for the new logo holder layer that you just added and then move back to 14 frames and set the opacity to zero then at one second select the particle layer and hit p on your keyboard also to set a keyframe for the particle then at one second 12 frames forward in time set opacity for this particular layer to zero slightly after three seconds about 13 frames Create another keyframe for the opacity and at 4 seconds change the opacity value to 100. Select the new logo holder composition. We're going to go up right here and select the rectangle tool. We're going to create a mask. Make sure you keep it very large because we're going to may feather this. So keep it as large as possible. Hit F on your keyboard to reveal the feather property and change the feather value to 130, 130. Move your time indicator to 4 seconds, 9 frames forward in time and hit MM on your keyboard to reveal the mask property. We're going to set a keyframe for the mask part. Move to about 9 seconds forward in time. We're going to select the mask and move it downward. Move it down until you no longer see the logo. Let's fit this back to our frame. So you're going to right click on your timeline, go to new and create a new text layer. This is going to be our tag. So feel free to type in whatever you like. I'll set the color to gray. I'll also make sure I align this to center. I will move my time indicator until the entire particle is disappeared. Then I will hit T on my keyboard to reveal the opacity property for the text. I will set a keyframe for that and move backward a bit and set the keyframe uh, value to zero. So I'll also move to this point right here close to the end and create a new keyframe for the opacity by clicking on this and then move forward and set the opacity again to zero so let's run preview now and see what we have and this is what we have very beautiful and okay to me with this now you can easily come back change the logo change the background and then create multiple logo reveal from the same animation this is only meant to show you how you can use the particular plugin to create a particle logo animation in Adobe After Effects. If you explore further, you'll be able to do more exciting things with this type of plugin. In the future, I'm going to dive more into it and show you an amazing ways you can use this particular logo to create stunning animation in Adobe After Effects. If you learned something new on this video, please hit the like button that will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll reply to all questions as quick as I can. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
you can support me in any way you can give me super thanks subscribe to my membership whatever way you want to support me with even if you share the video that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated if you like the video leaving a comment is all a support so with whatever way you are able to support me i highly appreciate you so until i see you again on the next one my name is ssb otaru from motion digit studios